if you have protruding eyes. Here's the easiest way to wear a wing liner. I actually said last week, if you have protruding eyes, don't even attempt to wear a wing. It's honestly not worth the hassle. But to be honest, we can wear so many different eye looks, protruding eyes. You have beautiful, big, bold eyes that can hold a lot of shadow, a lot of liner, and you have so many options. But a wing can be quite difficult when you have a protruding eye shape. So today, let's actually do a wing together and a really flattering wing for us as well. So without further ado, let's do it together. The big question really is, can protruding eyes actually wear a wing and make it flattering? Yes, you absolutely can, but it's hard. It's really hard. What a lot of people don't talk about with protruding eyes or with a different type of eye shape is when you do a wing with protruding eyes, if you can see, this is my brow bone. It goes all the way down, my orbital bone, all of it here, okay? This is my actual eyeball. There is a space, a whole finger space, between where my eye sits in its socket and where my brow bone is. Do you see this? Look at that. Look at how much space I have to cover with a wing dipping down and then dipping back out. Ah! Uh, this is a great little diagram of a protruding eye. So if you can see, we have all of this kind of shelf under here. And then again, we have this space, this space here on the side where we have to fill that in in order for our eye to look flat to our bone structure. That's hard. So what I wanna show you is a really easy way on how to do a wing. If you want to do a wing and you have protruding eyes, this is gonna be very easy. You just need one, eyeliner and then I like to put shadow over my eyeliner because I just like it a little bit more blown out I don't like it so precise and so perfect so we're literally going to do this so quick what I love about wearing a wing when you have protruding eyes is it really really changes your eye shape I mean you honestly look at this is my eye with nothing this is my eye with a wing. It completely gives you that elongated, beautiful, almost almond eye shape. And it's just a beautiful change from what we're normally used to, which is very rounded. We do a lot of round eyeshadow tutorials. So it's a nice change of pace. Okay, take an eyeliner. Whatever eyeliner you have is perfectly fine, okay? I like to start in the middle. And when I take my eyeliner, I'm doing it on a relaxed eye. I'm not pulling my eye like this. I'm not closing my eye. Just relax your eye. Look straight ahead. If you are looking in the mirror, that's great. And what I'm doing is instead of going down and following my natural eye shape, I'm pulling out. Pull outward. Almost just horizontally. So don't go down and follow your eye shape. Just pull it out because we want to create a flat eye. We don't want to create a curved eye, okay? And then I'm just gonna pull it out like this. Do you see, I'm going straight across, but I have this little bump, this little jump skip from the eyeliner. That's because that is a negative space. It literally dips down. <sighs> Protruding eyes, trials. Okay. So that's fine, just go in and fill in that little space. It's okay if your line looks a little bit jaggedy, but that's what your line should look like. Okay, then take your eyeliner again and I'm gonna go underneath my eye again. And this time I am gonna follow my eye shape a bit more because I just wanna meet my eye line up here. Just like this, just keep pulling it. Very light pressure with your eyeliner because if you're like me, this eyeliner is going to go so crazy. It's going to be able to be blended out really, really easily. Okay, now when I look at myself, what I'm seeing is a nice, uplifted, elongated eye. How beautiful is that? Another thing that people don't understand when I am describing protruding eyes is I literally have like a flat side of my temple. My temple is flat. You cannot see my temple unless I turn my head like this, like a fish. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little smudgy brush. I'm going to blend again. I'm going to blend. Pulling outward and horizontally. On the bottom as well. On the bottom I go a little bit more crazy. But I also like 
to stay halfway or three quarters of the way where the line is. So I use my pupil as a vantage point because if I go all the way around and line all the way around, I'm just going to make my eye look round again. So we want to keep it looking more almond. And you can accomplish that by just doing three quarters of the way or halfway. Okay, here we go. I actually added shadow on top again, like I said, but I used more of like a maroony burgundy color because I thought the black was a little bit too boring. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little eyeshadow and I just like to press it. I just press it on there. Press. Press it on there. Press again. You don't have to be super precise with this. We can always fix it up, it's okay. Pretty. Then I like to take just a little clean brush. It doesn't have anything on it. If you want to just shape up anything with a concealer, that's fine too. But I don't like to look too perfected, like I said before. I just want to make it look more flat. So I just take it and go like this. Go up like this. Blend it with my finger. Again, try to make it not so long past my actual brow bone, okay? Beautiful. And then I'll just take my eyeliner again and I actually just go really close to my lash line like this. And this one I'm not gonna blend out. I'm just gonna go really, really close. Just make my lashes look nice and thick. It's gonna be a very thin line. Very thin, as thin as you can make it. As thin as you can make it. Gives the illusion of some structure. And then I actually go underneath. Again, super thin. And I don't do anything. Then add your mascara. That's it. This is the finished look with mascara. If you do have protruding eyes and you really do want to wear a wing, it's totally possible. Totally possible. It's just not my favorite thing to recommend because I think it takes time and practice, which is totally fine as well. But this is what a wing definitely could look like if you have protruding eyes. See, and we fill in that little space here and then the little wing just pops up. Boop right at the edge. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you have protruding eyes and you try a wing, please let me know how it goes. Let me know if you have any other tips or tricks to help somebody else who might be struggling with wearing a wing. I hope you enjoy. Thanks guys, love ya.